Snoring and sleep apnea are, are some of the most common sleep problems people have. Uh, these conditions happen when our muscles relax during sleep and our airway narrows. As it narrows, it sometimes may even close. And when this happens, there's a, uh, there's a stress response and the brain wakes us and there's an arousal from sleep. And this can be very damaging to, to our health, uh, both for our cardiovascular health as well as the continuity of our sleep. There are many treatments that include uh, from uh, medical uh, devices that will maintain the throat open, such as, um, such as air pressure devices called CPAP, oral appliances, and there are a variety of uh, surgical treatments that can uh, help maintain the airway open. Uh, we also tell you about lifestyle habits that will help you manage these conditions, such as avoiding alcohol close to bedtime, such as pursuing a healthy diet and, and achieving weight loss if you are overweight, uh, and other means, even including uh, not sleeping on your back. So sleep apnea and snoring happen when we sleep. So very often, the person that has sleep apnea doesn't even know what's going on. However, the bed partner may tell you that you're snoring very loud, that you gasp and choke during sleep. And very often, people with sleep apnea wake up in the morning and they say, I'm tired. I don't know why I slept eight hours and I'm still uh, not feeling refreshed. And therefore, I have trouble functioning at work uh, or, or in school if it is children. If you need to see an ENT specialist, Go to entnhealth.org and click Find an ENT.